A dual wheel load assembly has 102 kN on each wheel with tire contact pressure of 0.07 Newton per mm square. A clear gap between the dual wheel is 200 mm. Determine the vertical stress values at a depth of 500 mm at radial distance of 0, 130, 260 mm from center line of dual wheel. Here, given data, given data in that 102 uh, is the given load, right? And clear distance between the inner wheels, that is 200 mm. And uh, depth here is given at 500 mm depth and radial distance is given uh, r is equal to 0 r r1 is r2 is equal to 130 and 260 right at these points we need to find this stress right so from capital p and uh, contact pressure you can find the small a radius of contact area huh? small uh, you can find 215.36 z by a you can find that is 2.p2 and uh, R by A, R values are there. So R by A, a chart and uh, Z by A. That For that, we need to refer the chart, right? When we refer the charts, that time we'll come to know these values. So I'm just telling. So this Z by A, Z by A values, here we'll see, and R by A. These are the lines with R by A values, different R by A values, right? So from those references, for example, this is 3, Z by A is 3, and R by A is equal to 2. So this is R by A is equal to 2 line. So here it is cutting. So with respect to this, what is the value here? Sigma Z by P. Sigma Z by P is 6. So Sigma Z by P is equal to 6. We'll be knowing small p. So Sigma Z is equal to, Sigma Z is equal to small p into percentage of uh, whatever value of 6, uh, 6 divided by 100. So like that you can find the sigma z. Sigma z for various r by a and various z by a. That is what is being calculated here for different r by a and z by a. z by a is constant 2.3 and r by a is varying 0 0.6, 0 1.2. So for that different values we found. There I had mentioned 6, no? similarly 28, 24, 20. Then you have multiplied and got these stress values. right? If they ask you to draw the diagram, that also you should be able to draw. Okay, Sigma Z one side and R values, uh, radial distances other side and should be able to draw the diagram. Okay. So we'll take up the next.